Seasons greasons, everyone. It is that time of year again. The time where I build a gingerbread house and absolutely nothing bad happens to it. So, without any further ado, let's get started. The kit I chose to build today, well, I didn't really choose. My dad actually just bought it at Target, so uh, it's, it's this one. It's a holiday barn. How neat. It comes with white and red icing and a whole bunch of decorative shit I'm probably not going to use. And yeah, whatever. Let's just get started. The way this build started off is a little bit different than the ones I've done in the past. Previously, I would assemble the whole house first and then put the icing all over everything, but I was trying to loosely replicate what was shown on the box for this one, so the instructions said to put the icing on first, and that's what I did. So now I had a whole bunch of red frosting covered gingerbread, which looked a little scary, but not bad, all things considered. Then I tried to put it together, and it wasn't really working, so I had to have my dad help me prop them up, and then I was able to glue the pieces together, and then I decided to let it hold for a little while. I came back and tried to put the roof on, and... huh. Okay. So it looks like I used the wrong orientation for the pieces, and the roof won't go on. Well, that sucks. Um, given how much of a pain in the ass it was to get this thing to hold together, and the fact that I needed four hands, I really don't want to deal with it again. So I decided to put it to the side, let it dry, and maybe think of something later. And then while I wasn't recording, the house fell apart. So yeah, either that's a new opportunity to try and put it together the right way again, or... You know what? Just fuck it. Fuck it. Looks like hair. <laughs> that is very interesting. It's all like, how is it still going? Oh, spoke too soon. Well, I think I'm gonna call it Happy Hanukkah, everyone.